That's awesome. Hey, hey, yes, see you. That's Adam Vinatieri's son. That's it. Really? With the number four jersey. That is yes. so good. Hey. I love that. So the Colts have the Giants at home in week 15, and or no, week 16, and then they have to go to Tennessee to take on the Titans. That is the future for them. The Colts, the first team, by the way, to shut out the Cowboys since 2003. Yeah. So take a look at how the Cowboys' loss affects this NFC playoff mm. picture, Shriggs. Yeah, look, the Bears get that win, but we saw the Rams lose and the Cowboys lose. They've already clinched the NFC East, so they're good on that end, right? They can do it there, but with, or I'm sorry, if the Eagles win two and the Cowboys lose two, it could get a little wonky, but they have that home field right now, but they're clutching tightly because we don't know if they can, you know, go up or down from there. This is like a weird game that caused some confusion, but also some clarity. The, the results of this game and how it went down and that score where it stands out, that big zero, does it change the way that you look at either team going forward? For me, yeah, it changes the way that I look at the Colts because I lost a little bit of faith a couple weeks ago when they lost to Jacksonville. And for me, I had to take a step back because I was really high on Andrew Luck and that offense and everything that they were doing. And then they bounced back and they corrected themselves over the last couple of weeks. And I could mention and reference that loss from a couple of weeks ago, but if you look at seven out of the last eight games, they won. So these guys are on one hell of a hot streak as well. And Marlon Mack coming up and playing big. And if you look at them being shut out, the Cowboys, that is, the defense is playing at a high level. I mentioned Darius Leonard's name a couple of times, but if you don't know who he is, you need to pay attention because he is lights out on the defense side of the ball. But, yes, it changed my perspective. If the Colts can get in, yeah, they're one of the more dangerous teams in the playoffs. I've been so hesitant to get all in on the Cowboys. They had this amazing hot streak. They won on Thanksgiving. They win, obviously, against the Saints on a Thursday night that everyone's watching. Last week, they beat the Eagles on national TV. And I've almost been hesitant because I've seen these Cowboys teams under Romo in the past and Bledsoe before that. And they get, you get excited about them, and then they drop these weird ones in the final weeks of the season, 15, 16, yeah. 17. This one scared me. This one scared me going in because I said, it's not a primetime game. It's a 1 o'clock start. It's on the road, and the Colts are playing for everything. And I get a little worried that we did the Amari Cooper parade last week on this show. We did the yeah. – Dak, Dak Prescott has put his stamp on things. He's the guy. And Ezekiel Elliott, there's no better – the offensive line is injured. Zach Martin, you, you missed him yesterday, obviously. And I think uh, Ciafolo, he's out also. And I get nervous when I see things like this late in the season because I've seen too many Cowboys teams collapse when it matters most in recent memory. And I know it's supposed to be different. Jason Garrett was the coach with Romo, and they collapsed. Mm -hmm. And Jason Garrett's been the coach with other teams with Dak when they didn't beat the Packers. The, like, what, what, what a missed opportunity Thanks. to really separate yourself yesterday. Did you lose this much faith when the Colts lost to the Jacksonville Jags? I mean, I don't understand. What's the panic about? And this is a good team. They got smacked up by the Colts who have Andrew Luck, who's one of the best quarterbacks. The Colts got smacked up by the Jags who didn't have anybody on offense. It felt like they didn't wake up for this one. It felt like they controlled the game early, couldn't score. It felt like they kind of took it for granted a little bit. The fact that, hey, we play on primetime against the Saints and we beat them. We're the hot boys. And then you go on the road and you play at noon at your time and you're maybe not. And, it, and it's not the national game. There's other games going on. You're on the red zone, but you're just one of eight boxes, you know. And maybe the Cowboys, they, maybe, maybe they didn't bring it in a moment where they should have brought it more than ever before. <laughs> I want to talk about the state of Indiana, Let's that go. media market. The people in Indiana, or as people in Chicago refer to them as FIPS, um, the FIPS are on fire right now. You know, I did a quick Bing search in the commercial, five articles about this game. Four out of the five of them mentioned the Cowboys before the Colts, who won 23 to nothing. Um, didn't change anything for me about this. I'll look at the AFC right now. Chargers are really good. Chiefs are really good. And then it's the Colts. What other team are you afraid of that's going to beat the Colts? The Texans had won about 12 games in a row. The Colts beat the crap out of them. They had luck unstoppable. They're getting in the playoffs, and there's no one they can't beat. I'm telling you, this team could go to the title game. They're that good. The defense is that ferocious. Frank Reich's locker room. Oh, my God. It's so, he's preaching after yeah. the game. Locker room. Locker room. It's the best thing they got going right now. Do not let the Colts in. I'm telling you, they could flip the whole table. You're right. Andrew looks awesome. And I guess my reason I didn't buy them in the beginning of the season was obviously I had to see what Andrew looks looked like but even when he was looking good the other talent was so good right in the AFC I like the Texans a lot and I thought they had more playmakers and stars around them yeah Andrew Luck I feel like has to put everything on his back always and will this team into the playoffs and he did to the AFC championship he's done it before now I feel like they have a new identity they're a little more balanced Marlon Mack can run the ball really really effectively and they have a top 10 defense in the playoffs what do you like to do run the ball and have a nice defense to balance things out so I gained a lot of respect for these Colts yesterday and the next two games are no big deal 
Listen, they got to play the Titans Week 17. Right. As we know, the Titans have literally never beaten Andrew Luck once. That's a huge matchup. I think they're getting in. The Colts are in. Andrew Luck with a run game and a defense looking at. That means the Ravens are out. Titans. No? Hey, in Titans are good. The Titans are out. Titans you are can't great. Have them all. The Colts are in. The Colts are in. Derrick Henry might have something to say about that. Check out the aftermath. It brings you.